But now I'd like to ask you about religion. You call yourself a religious man? I would. Would you call yourself a zealot? A zealot? No. A zealot being one inspired by zeal? I wouldn't think so. You don't feel yourself inspired by zeal? I... You find yourself to be inspired? Perhaps. Sometimes. By what? Perhaps by... by love? The... the love of God. All right, yes. And how do you know God? How does one know God? Through God's word. Through... You feel inspired by the word of God? I do. Do you believe that the Bible is the word of God? I don't know. You don't know if it's the word of God? That's right. But you feel inspired by it? I do. And you've testified that you read it daily. But I also read the newspaper daily. Hmm. Is it the word of God, the Bible? I don't know. But you believe in it. I study to understand it. Ah. And those passages which you may not understand? There must be passages you don't understand. But there are. How do you treat them? I, uh, passages which you might find objectionable. Are there such passages? There are those I find disquieting. As, for example? The Midrash of Nadab and Abihu. Nadab and Abihu, the sons of Aaron. Well, that's very good. 